a quick video to go over the storage settings configuration on the Alibi Vigilant Series DVRs. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and select your menu on the bottom left. Select menu. Either draw your pattern or enter your password. Once you get into the main menu, you want to go to your left hand side here to storage. When you're in storage, you're going to have four options here. We're going to just go over the recording option, which is the schedule. Each camera has its own schedule. So if you're down here, you have a select camera option. You can choose a specific camera to set different schedules for. By selecting one of the options on the right hand side, such as event or motion or normal, you can actually set, click and drag inside this box here and 30 minute increments per day. Once you make those changes, make sure to hit apply down here on the bottom. There's actually a more um, intricate way or more detailed way you can edit the schedule. There's an edit button up here on the top right. And here you can actually go down to the minute per schedule. So if you had something from 8.06 a.m. to 5.05 p.m., you can set that schedule accordingly in this section here. Just make sure that when you do make changes to the schedule on a specific camera, to hit the apply button down here on the bottom before you switch to a different camera. So this camera two is set to motion. Let's say if we wanted to copy this schedule over to all the rest of the cameras. So we'll hit the copy button on the bottom. We'll select all the cameras and that will copy that schedule to the rest of those cameras. We'll hit okay. And then we wanna make sure to hit apply one more time. Now, if I go to camera one, that camera is set to motion. You also want to double check that the enable schedule is selected for that camera. When this is selected, the camera will record according to the schedule. When you're recording motion as well, you have your pre and post record settings. Right now we're set to pre record or 10 seconds for the motion and 60 seconds after the motion activity. On the left hand side, you're going to have the hard disk option. Here you're going to have the information on the hard drives that are installed in the unit from the size of the drive, the free space, status of the drive, the type of drive, which should be local, usage, recording, snapshot, properties, and then um, read write, and then you'll have a configure option as well. In here, you'll have a property where read write, which is it will rewrite itself once it's full. And if you have a, a scenario where you need to preserve all the footage on the drive, um, you can choose the read only option that will not record anymore to your hard drive, but it will preserve the footage that is on there. Continuing on, you have the allocate space on the left hand side. Here you can select a camera and allocate a certain amount of space specifically for that camera. Let's say if it's not a high priority camera, you can actually have it recording less than some other cameras. Moving on to the last option here, the advanced option. Basically, it's telling you when the hard drive is full, do you want to overwrite or do you want it to stop? Um, if you do hit stop, it will stop recording to that drive. It will not overwrite it. So you have that option there. And that covers the overall storage configuration settings for the Alibi Vigilant Series DVRs.